They call themselves the Frantics, and they're four of the funniest, saniest comedians the Great White North has ever produced. They make the silly seem profound, and they certainly make the profound seem silly, and they do it every week for half a million radio listeners. Up to two, which would you take, Sweden or Norway? I'll take Sweden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It is the 100th radio taping of the Frantics Comedy Show, starring Paul Shadow, Dan Redican, Rick Green, and Peter Wildman, with special guests Carolyn Scott and Meg Ruffman. Outside the Toronto studio, 375 loyal fans are dressed as their favorite Frantics characters. Todd Booster, Mr. Canoehead, Mr. Canoehead, and Mr. Canoehead. What drives responsible grown-ups to dress like this? The answer is the Frantics. A mild-mannered consumer who had a canoe welded to his head. We find Mr. Canoe Head in his secret duplex of solitude, watching the young and the restless. <laughs> we'll get back to more incest on the young and restless, but first, this word. Hi, I'm the Ultramind, and I think it's perfectly natural to talk about feminine protection. Mr. Canoehead, the world's most seaworthy superhero and his arch nemesis, the Ultramind, are typical Frantic's creations. They're bizarre, whimsical, and wildly satiric. In a way, these characters reflect the divergent backgrounds of the Frantics. Before they were radio cult figures, the four comics were variously involved in music, advertising, physics, magic, and why not, African slavery. My roots go right back to Africa. And with the first... The <laughs> The first slave uh, stick, actually, it was, a, it was a ship, but they put like five slaves on this big hunk of wood and it just drowned. And then eventually they put them into ships and it worked out quite well. What? That's not true. No, it's actually, no, it's not, <laughs> no, He not may be kidding. Me. Uh, we started, what, five, six years ago doing cabarets, nightclubs, and, uh, and dishes. Uh, dishes. <laughs> and I guess we just saw each other doing, said, that guy's funny, I want to work with him. Actually, that's how the four of us got together. Well, it was just me, my stick of gum, and Murray, the strange aborigine. Why was he strange? Well, probably a domineering mother. Uh. When the Frantics get together to make funny, there are no holds barred. In their most madly sophisticated moments, their sketches are reminiscent of the British Monty Python troupe. But the inspired silliness of the Marx Brothers is strongly in evidence. And we went as far as Oahu. Hawaii. No, I got something stuck in my throat. Oahu. We have developed a technique over the years that works for us, which is everybody sort of initially being created by themselves and then bringing it in and, and the ideas being molded and so on. Any sketch that shows the technique is usually not good enough. You, you have to put so much creativity in it that, I mean, sure, there's technique and everything, but if you can see the technique, then the sketch isn't good. And we shoot our guns the best. We built a dike right across the Rio Grande. There is method in the Frantic's madness. Sketches and songs are rewritten as many as eight times. Because their comedy is geared for radio, the Frantics are free to invent characters and settings that could only exist in the imagination. Attention space cadets, gather around the radio for the future adventures of Todd Booster. Imagine, it's no longer 1934. Join us as we blast 50 years into the future, a future where there's railway service to Mars, where automobiles are the size of... On radio, we can have a man wrestling with an ant or we can have a car going through outer space, or we can have people exploding as they speak. So... And why we, not? We can... Yeah, exactly, <laughs> why not? That's how we end um, most of our sketches. So, so radio allows us still to be physical, but in, in a cerebral sort of way. Oh, I'm rich! I'm white! I love it! More than anything, the Frantics provide an invigorating tonic for the sardonic, the cynical, and the world-weary. People come down, laugh their guts out uh, at our tapings and just say, boy, I was down all week, this really picked me up. So I think it puts things into perspective. We're routine tooting drinkers, we are just like Heinz Brinker. We always eat too much, we're cowboys and we're Dutch. Dutch cowboys! Rumor has it that the Frantics are hard at work on a TV series of their very own, and that's good news for comedy fans.